the most awaited Havoc OS 6.0 is finally here and I've got it installed on my Moto G 5G. This is based on Android 13. Even though this is just an initial build, the battery backup that I've been getting is quite good. I'm getting close to 7 hours of screen on time and I've been using this device as my daily driver. The configuration center is gone but we get all the customization option, options inside their respective uh, categories. So for the sound and notification we have the, uh, the vibrations and haptics option inside the sound. And similarly with uh, like the charging sounds, the touch sound and everything is here. And the lock screen settings are inside the display. And we have options for now playing the music ticker, ambient display and all that uh, customization options. We also have the live display here so you can customize your uh, saturation and all that so that's good to see. And the wallpaper and style options have uh, quite a number of uh, colors to choose from and they work without any issues. And we have customization for the, uh, the lock screen clock, we can change the size and also the color. And we can also uh, customize the shortcuts that you see on the lock screen and they are quite functional as before we need to swipe but now we can just tap and hold to activate any of these shortcuts and they come quite handy to access this next feature i would suggest you to go from the home screen and then go to the wallpaper and style and once you tap on the more wallpapers you will see something called the emoji workshop so like we have seen in the ios or in the samsung we have the option for the emoji wallpaper but here they are quite interactive and intuitive you can change the background the patterns the designs and add more emojis if you want and in my opinion the white outline emojis looks much better than the typical yellow ones as uh, they make for a better wallpaper like a better looking wallpaper for your lock screen as well as your home screen so definitely one of the coolest features of havoc os and uh, next if you go to the security and more security settings we have app lock and it's always good to see app locks built in the custom rom so you can easily lock your applications without the need of installing any third party applications so that's good to see the status bar settings are quite plain you do not see any additional options like the wi-fi icon style or the quick toggle second style but they still do the job we have the network traffic monitor uh, if you want to and for gestures we have the system navigation and we also get the three button navigation and if you have a motorola phone you get the motorola gestures here as well so that's always good to see and also if your phone has a back fingerprint you can easily uh, reach the notification just swiping down on it so it's easy for one hand users and even the ram management has been really great with no issues whatsoever this is how the power menu looks which options for lockdown airplane mode and other options we also have the advanced restart and this is how the volume toggles looks and if you're concerned about the safety net it is passing without any issues so you can use your banking applications and for the camera for the motorola we have the motorola camera and all the lenses are working without any issues the quick toggles are nice and smooth and uh, we can add toggles for a lot of options from the list so that's good overall my experience with the havoc os has been really great so far with no issues regarding performance and in the day-to-day -day activities so if you want to install it on your moto g 5g you can check the link in the description so that was it for this video i hope you like this one and I'll see you in the next one.